This video is intended to teach you how to correctly lube stabilizers without desoldering. First, you'll need a tissue, tweezers if you have some on hand, dielectric grease, which I'll link in the description below, and a toothpick. You can also use an interdental brush if that's what you have on hand. Now, we're going to take a quick look at the different parts of the stabilizers you'll need to apply the grease. As you can see here, this silver part is the stabilizer wire. You can see this much easier from the front. Here's the back of the stabilizer, or the side facing the top of the keyboard. As you can see, it's much harder to see the wire. As I lift up the stabilizer, you can see the round ends of the stabilizer wire. Keep in mind that the st spacebar stabilizers face the opposite way. Now, onto the lubing process. You should squeeze a small drop of the dielectric grease onto the very tip of your toothpick. Make sure you put the grease as close to the tip as possible for easier application. First, you want to lube this side. Apply liberally as the purpose of the grease is to fill the gaps between the wire and the white housings so that they stop rattling. Make sure you get it all around the wire. This is usually how people tell you to lube soldered stabilizers. The second step is to apply lube on the other side of the stabilizers the harder to see side. This is crucial, and it's what most people miss when lubing soldered stabilizers. Lift up the stabilizer stem with the tweezers or your fingers, and once again, apply lube on all sides of the stabilizer. You should pull the white stem all the way up when applying underneath the wire, and you should lower about halfway when applying on top of the wire. This is more difficult than the previous step, but will eliminate most of the rattle, depending on the quality of the stabilizers. The first step will probably eliminate 70-80% of the rattle. On this keyboard, it worked well for all stabilizers but the spacebar, which still continued to rattle. That's why the second step is so important, and it's what really helped my spacebar. The second step also eliminated 90% of the remaining rattle on all the other stabilized keys. If you ended up with any lube outside of the stabilizer socket, you want to wipe that down with the tissue before putting the keycaps back on to avoid getting any lube on the insides of your keycaps. And next, you'll hear the sound test after lubing the stabilizers.